back on Aorta. Of course. This is hometown for some of us. Uh, I have been doing a lot of Aorta matches lately. And presumably they've been getting uploaded. Um, sticky. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But to shake things up, I'm actually using a mod that really changes how the game plays. Uh, it ch switches out all of the human crewmen on the ships for alien crewmen. Uh, so be sure to keep an eye on that and see how much of a difference that will make in the gameplay when instead of humans running around your ship repairing things and mending your guns and captaining things, uh, it's, it's space aliens. It, you know, we, we got red ones and we got blue ones and we got green ones and it's all, it's all, it's all very interesting and exciting and a very different game. Very different game. A good spread on the OSP team. Good spread on the ANS team. <laughs> on that deployment phase. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Chimple Wimple back again. For the, I don't know, for like the 11 billionth time. I don't know how many videos he's actually made it into that have gotten out. But, uh, yeah, here, here he is in his, in his frigate spam with rockets. That's just, that's just what he does. Pink frigates. Oh, they're blue this time. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're still pink. They're blue and pink. Yeah. With, uh, rockets and AMMs. These are an absolute menace. Got uh, Heinrich over here, or Henrik, missing an eye. Looks like a mass driver array. What is this? A mass driver array with bloodhounds and an EWR. With one plasma and one cannon. So one mass driver, one plasma, one cannon, and two bastions per monitor. And except for one of these that has an MLS instead of the cannon. What the fuck is this build? All right, he, wow me, my brother, wow me. He's going off, he's blasting off into open space. So it looks like he's trying to stay at range. I'm not sure what the plasma's for or what the normal cannon is for. This is a bad example, let's go to the rocket launcher. We got some line ships with missiles and cannons. Usually, I see, just, just a little bit of like a, a secondary weapon, some support. On the back side, the enemy is we're on the line defense slots. No, on the back side, they're there. There's some smaller cannons over here. So casemates for broadsiding and then some extra support from Type 2s. That's interesting. I like that. That's a, that's a really good idea. Scout Bloodhound and a Scout Shuttle. Gun Ocello. With a really robust point defense and E War sweep. I wonder if he's got any internals related to those. He's got a spyglass, but nothing else. Guns! Guns! The enemy secured zone Guns! Oh man, this guy is ready to murder people. Uh, if the ANS team is bringing any missile ships, it looks like they might be. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on over here. What the hell? We're gonna, I'm going to need to take a close look at all that. Uh, this team, Terrell's team, could be in real trouble. Going over the top of the map. A lot of the OSP team going over the top of the map. Actually, now that we look at it. Just Captain Bravo, Captain Charlie, and then the Mass Driver fleet is going to the outside of map. And Chimpelwimple is just sort of spreading his ships out. This is, this is going to be weird. Looks like the bulk of the ANS team is mass driver keystone arrays just just hanging back that's yeah yeah both these guys i think are bringing mass drivers oh yeah yep yeah. so that's uh seven it's eight it's eight mass drivers plus some support reins for capping and doing e-war stuff and the sprinters for also for capping and doing e-war stuff so uh half the ans team is extreme long range Good, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Cause that usually takes coordination to do well. Oh my God! Speaking of weird ANS builds, 
Look at this Axford. Two Auroras and an AMM launcher, and then just guns <laughs> to kill things with. Well, I would not want to run into that. That's quite dangerous. What you got on this Voxel? Also a lot of guns. A little more point defense. Unfortunately, all the point defense is Auroras. Which might be fine. Yeah, I don't think... Well, it's not going to work against the rockets. Yeah, those rockets could absolutely overwhelm these. So if this Axford gets in range of Chimple Wimple's little rocket brigade. He's, uh, he's going to be in big trouble. Big trouble. Way down in Axford City. Standard. A little more of a standard build. Two extra guns instead of full point defense. I appreciate that people are bringing more guns on their ships. Instead of pure point defense. That's much, much more interesting. I think the shuttle is going to dodge everything, apparently. I was going to say, I think he's dead before he can really do that much, aside from capping Alpha, which is important. But he's out of here. Yeah, no one can hit him. What else you got from Moon? Very gunned up. Voxel with a bullseye on top. Nice. Uh, I imagine if, if he can get a lock on this thing with that bullseye, it's gonna be it's gonna be done. Or maybe not. He might not even be trying to lock it. Let's take a look. No, oh, he's locked. He's definitely locked. He's just too fast. What in the world am I watching? Oh no, there we go. Eventually they will get hit, but it's still Yeah, Sun Drive's OP. Beautiful. Of course, while all the ANS team's attention is on Alpha, the OSP team is moving around the sides and the flanks. And if they can get close enough to these these mass drivers before the mass drivers can deal damage, especially these these 450 line trips. Oh man, you bringing ammo elevators or cyclers? Mostly cyclers. Unfortunate. That's gonna mean your fire rate is still gonna be really low because overall, because of the lack of ammo elevators. You get diminishing returns on things, by the way, for those of you who don't know that. And it's not obvious. It's not stated anywhere that I know. But if you put a whole bunch of the same module on, you'll steadily get less and less efficacy out of it. So if you bring a whole bunch of fire cradles, you're not going to be able to just... At the speed of sound, all your bullets out, and then dip behind cover for the slow reload. I mean, you, you can fire extremely fast relative to what you were able to fire but uh, the percentage change doesn't stack as nicely as one would like and it's just it's very positional is what's happening in this game. There are a few scout ships going onto the map to cap points, but it's interesting that no one's going to be fighting over points. Everyone's going to be fighting just just to fight. We've got this brave little voxel coming in here. Oh man, this brave little Aurora voxel. If these, if the Chimplewimple team can get a rocket crossfire on him, he's done. Aurora's can't handle those. Fighting coming on up here, but it's mostly, yeah, it's mostly just these. Ah, oh, here we go. The casemates are opening up. Look at that fire rate. It is pretty high relative to what it normally is. And if they're able to get a lock on any of these ships, they're going to be in big trouble. Looks like, uh, yeah, no locks coming out. So a lot of these are actually going to miss. You need, you need locks. You need locks if you want to use guns. You really do. Uh, these need to be dipping behind cover immediately for the full 90 second reload. Since they're not bringing any ammo elevators, at least none that I saw, I could have missed one. No, no ammo elevators. That's a, that's a full 90 second reload. You need to run. You need to leave. Okay, they're going to stay here and they're going to get shot to pieces. While, uh, while reloading their guns. Looks 
Looks like, yeah, nobody's nobody's got a lock on these ships yet. This Axford has been locked and taken a ton of damage. What happened to you? I think he got rocketed. Yeah, he got rocketed by this guy. That's exactly what happened. He ate a whole bunch of rockets. Let's see if we can see the blasts. Yeah. Yeah, these big, big holes on the side of this ship. Rockets. Nothing starboard. Seems in big trouble. No restores. Oh dear. So just another rocket or two. Another rocket volley or two. We'll put that out of commission completely. The casemate team opening fire once again. And oh, getting some strong hits now that the mass driver team has very kindly prevented their port uh, broadside to be shot at because they're trying to kill this tug out here. Well, I guess that Bloodhound's probably going to be getting, giving the best picture. So that might be a good choice. It's denying your enemy sensor coverage is, is very good, but uh, the small problem is they're going to have to give one of their, one of the parts of the Master Driver array away for it. It is a great deal easier to land shots on something uh, this big than it is on something of this big. Great deal easier. Oh, this might not even be something to considering. The Axford and Voxel team, at least the other Axford and Voxel team that hasn't been shot up, is opening fire now. A ton of missiles coming in. Are these the guys with the point defense? Yeah, these are the guys with the point defense. So those missiles shouldn't do that much? I don't know, they're not directly targeting the Axford, they're targeting the, uh, the Reigns. Oh, but the Bastions. Well, if you get through, and this other Reigns is dead, ah, oh, it's a Sprinter, is dead. This is going after these Mass Drivers, and this Mass Driver team, okay, this is the one that does have, I think it's these guys? Yeah, that just have Mass Drivers and Defenders. Some get through anyways. Mass driver team's going down, just can't handle the direct combat. When you have a back line, you need a front line, but neither team really has a front line right now. I mean, I guess these guys sort of exist, but they're not holding, they're not picketing for their backliners. <laughs> to be fair, the OSB team just completely subverted the way you're supposed to play the map and go through the middle and just swoop over the top of the thing they're about to capture every single point as well mm. looks like anx team will be able to recap alpha but that's a that is a big problem because these backliners none of these backliners are going to be able to hold down points and this axford has already been very very heavily damaged this Voxel's taking damage too. It's not out. I mean, yeah, these, these Keystones are trying to get the hell away. Absolutely withering away of fire. Man, out of these gunned up monitors too. Man, I haven't really seen any fire coming out of these guys. Enemy munitions you got. What? Oh, this, this is the this is the E War one. Yeah, just 99%. Uh, yeah, that's because they haven't shot at anything, really. Ah, here we go. Finally getting into the fight. Getting the right angle. This Axford peeks his nose out a little too far above this rock. He's going to get destroyed. The brave, brave reigns. With no guns. <laughs> it's capping Delta. Yeah, the majority of the fighting is... Uh, Inside the ANS player's spawn area over here. So not a place for that. Okay, so that's that's done. That's out of the fight. And these are getting that way, especially this one. Looks like his now his mass driver's still functioning. Really? Yeah. Out of restores and unfortunately lost some restores at a large locker. So that means uh, that won't be getting much in the way of repairs. 
Won't be getting anything on grade. Asking the opposing force for intel is is brave. Unless he's asking his teammates, one of these ships might be lucky one. I don't know. I don't have time to look at all the ship names. There is gunfights afoot, and these uh, ships are steadily being punished for their complete refusal to duck into cover after firing. Although there's really not that much cover up here, might not have been the best place for them to go, but it's probably the only place they could have gone without getting beat up by uh, mass drivers before even getting into position. This expert team, this expert and voxel team, I should say, has the right idea. They're keeping depth laid on these monitors. Just, just, just shooting. Looks like these are trying to turn to fire at, at that team. Which I think is a good choice. They can do more damage to them, but it's, it's going to be slow going. Even with the yard drives, those are pretty damaged too. And they lost one. And then Axford's going to be bow tanking. So he's not going to really take much in the way of damage. Number eight, ask your teammates what they're bringing to the party. The enemy secured zone because you, you the want a well-rounded team. You want a team that can support each other. And just a whole bunch of fucking mass driver keystones. Ain't gonna be supporting shit, of course. Is this the guy that said that? Yeah, the, the guy who's losing his ships is the one who's like, yeah, real shot. To be fair, he's taking far more damage from the normal guns than the rail guns, but the rail guns definitely helped. Especially against this cell, though it's someone else. Entirely. Are those still firing at the sprinter? Oh yeah. Amazing. Wild gun battle. I still don't know who's gonna take it. I mean, the OSP is obviously winning the points game, and that is what will win you the game. Good old chimple wimple. Not doing that much militarily, but is maintaining the points with his rocket ships. Rockets, of course, no match for a sprinter. Oh! Boom. You've seen it here, ladies and gentlemen. Man who can balance a game live by just, just making a comment. He might have been position firing instead of track firing to get the hits on that. Which, if so, could, that's amazing. Seriously, congratulations, that's super impressive. And if not, congratulations on getting lucky that rockets actually worked against sprinters. I don't know what it is, but I can never get them to hit because they're just so fast. Oh boy. Okay, I don't think that hit anything. I was wrong. Oh, I thought this was that one. The ship way out here, but that was right in the middle of these other tugs. So they're going to be having a bad day. Extremely bad day. Lightly roasted tugs. These ships are backing off, sort of, but it's too late for that. The reload seems even slower. This presumably won't do anything. Three type twos into a decent PD nest. Yeah, there they go. Oh, 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 nope. It's Axford just not taking damage. And the wide array of guns, I think, is really good against the liner ships. Because they don't have that much armor. So even the Mark 62s can get some damage down the field. And they can also swat tugs that have been roasted. 
RPF into the rusted tugs. Good call. on this mass driver team, especially relative to the numbers on the gun team. Oh, the benefit of mass drivers of this setup, I, I suppose, as I was saying earlier, you need support for your mass drivers. This is the support. This is exactly the support you need. Because the mass drivers can uh, disrupt what they're shooting with crits, and then these roll in and do the real damage while the critted ships are struggling to fight back. Of course, the, as previously stated, the real story is the fact that Chimple Wimple has maintained an absolute monopoly on all the points. Looks like all the ANS players who have tried to cap points have just gotten steadily rocketed to smithereens. Actually, Reuben is, uh, I mean, he's not fine, but he is alive. I don't know why he surrendered. This ship's definitely not alive. But that could have kept fighting. He just decided he didn't want to, I guess. Kind of annoying. These guys are absolutely the MVP of the uh, ANS team. They are doing good work. Just so much damage has come out. Raw damage has come out of this little group. Still keeping Deflate on those monitors. These mass driver guys just couldn't figure out what they wanted to shoot at. Looks like they've been shooting at these long range dudes for a while, but that's not really where you want your mass drivers going. Need to support because they can't do raw damage on their own. And then they're sort of they're sort of busting up the uh, the support ship. That's not gonna do anything. Unless this is just by itself. Oh yeah, it is. I take it back. That could, uh, this little blast could kill this guy. Just straight up. He's got one defender. That's not enough. Is this thing in range? Oh, it, it doesn't even matter. All, everything except his mass driver is down. What? A champion of a ship just to, just to drive a CIC and a mass driver. Everything else has been blown up. Where are these going? Well, uh, I take it back. Unfortunately, they were unguided, it seems. And so we're unable to kill this nearly defenseless Reigns. The upper team for the OSP is losing. Oh, and losing quite spectacularly. There's the Ocello going nuclear. But it, it doesn't matter. They win. OSP wins from points. Even though they are finally losing militarily. And unfortunate for this guy, he's not gonna see his win. It's uh <laughs> It's pretty funny. What do you think about it? I, I was fully expecting this team to just annihilate the rail brigade. Yep. That is exactly what happened. And you are included in nobody capping. You're not capping. You're just fighting. If you see a problem, be a part of the solution. If you see no one capping, go cap. This Axford and this Voxel could have just flown around capping shit. And with their robust point events, probably could have boxed Chimplewimple's rocket team. But they didn't want to do that. They wanted to shoot guys, which understandable. Shooting guys is why we're here. Ah, I see. Oh, is this poor tug or uh, monitor. This poor, poor ship getting absolutely annihilated from so many different directions. <laughs> now that's the power of rails. Rails working with guns do work. Because, yeah, the ANS has secured a military victory. No doubt about it. I mean, OSP still has a mass driver team and a few frigates. Oh, I guess these frigates didn't really fire their rockets, did they? 
So secured probably isn't the best word, but they've got a strong military lead. Uh, but it's control. Resource points is what matters. The ANS fleet, by the rules of war, is now obligated to leave the AO because the OSP grabbed uh, the, the flags. All the little flags around the map. Yeah, that was a good game. This is another another weird one. So, uh, how did y'all do? Not very well. Actually, it's only this ship that didn't do very well. The rest of them did fine for mass drivers. I don't know why he had. The cannons on these. You really don't want those. I mean, they did good damage. Probably would have been better off with just more mass drivers, although that's not a problem. Because Steam had too many mass drivers. That's not true. Bringing one dedicated rail fleet is useful. You just have to make sure that you're not bringing two dedicated rail fleets or three or four I don't know four rail fleets what, what if you just kill everything before they could actually cap nah no way someone would get a cap off decent damage on these mass driver teams but yeah just no no presence no presence on the map no damage coming out of Rubens. Oh, that is just depressing. Got rocketed by Trample Wimple before he could really do that much. From Moon, on the other hand. Yeah, getting some great damage numbers. 25,000 out of his two ships. And then and Scout. Chimpawimple, funnily enough, both the MVP for the OSP team and uh, probably did the least amount of damage on the OSP team because he only he only ran into a couple ships. The rest of his the time he was just sort of flying around and capping. It had to be a really boring game <laughs> for him. <laughs> Here I am, sitting with my frigates, ready to pounce on someone who gets too close. But uh, he, he played the game correctly. He won. He played exactly how he needed to. Only about 13k out from him. Maybe closer to 14. And most of these ships just unused, 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 unused. But they capped. And sometimes that's all that matters. The name of the game is, in fact, Control. Is my. Oh, God. Don't open up my Steam thing, please. Thank you. Be careful when you click on the AAR. Apparently, if you click on names, yeah, it'll just open Steam profiles. It's a, that's a cool little thing that they implemented, but kind of frustrating. Wow. So this is why you need good tracks. Bloodhounds are great, but you really need locks. You, you do. You just have to have locks. Either that or you have to have a bloodhound with a whole lot of track correlators on it. And I don't think Tugs usually have the room for that. At least I've never managed to build one. All my Bloodhound ships are monitors with like three or four track correlators on them so that you can get a good enough picture that you can actually shoot at something reliably. Gotta have that targeting radar. You just, you just do. So otherwise, even though you shoot a whole lot, you don't do that much damage. This one managed to get a little more lucky and do significantly more damage. We have the, uh... This team. Still not really sure what was going on with this team. Well, well not much, obviously. They didn't really do much damage and they got blown up pretty fast. Yeah, that was a weird game. Sound OSP defeat um, on the battlefield and a sound OSP victory on the economy. Good job, guys. <laughs> Not too much to say about that.
That's the video. Good night.